passive income can be a great way to help you generate extra cash flow, whether you're running a side hustle or just trying to get a little extra dough each month, especially as inflation rages throughout the economy. Passive income can help you earn more during the good times and tide you over if you suddenly become unemployed, if you voluntarily take time away from work or if inflation keeps chipping away at your purchasing power. With passive income, you can have money coming in even as you pursue your primary job, or if you're able to build up a solid stream of passive income, you might want to kick back a little. Either way, a passive income gives you extra security. Creating sources of passive income takes a lot of time. But if you need money to invest in your business or need right now, you can apply to a low-interest loan company at the link in the attached commentary. 6. Passive Income Ideas for Building Wealth If you're thinking about creating a passive income stream, check out these six strategies and learn what it takes to be successful with them, while also understanding the risks associated with each idea. 1. Write an e-book Writing an e-book can be a good opportunity to take advantage of the low cost of publishing and even leverage the worldwide distribution of Amazon to get your book seen by potentially millions of would-be buyers. E-books can be relatively short, perhaps 30 to 50 pages, and can be relatively cheap to create, since they rely on your own expertise. You'll need to be an expert on a specific topic, but the topic could be niche and use some special skills or abilities that very few offer but that many readers need. You can quickly design the book on an online platform and then even test market different titles and price points. But just, a lot of the value comes when you add more ebooks to the mix, drawing in more customers to your content. Opportunity An ebook can function not only to deliver good information and value to readers, but also as a way to drive traffic to your other offerings, including audio or video courses, other ebooks, a website, or potentially higher value seminars. Risk your ebook has to be very strong to build up a following and then it helps if you have some way to market it, too, such as an existing website, a promotion on other relevant websites, appearances in the media or podcasts or something else. So you could put in a lot of work up front and get very little back for your efforts, especially at first. And while an ebook is nice, it will help if you write more and then even build a business around the book or make the book just one part of your business that strengthens the other parts. So your biggest risk is probably that you waste your time with little reward. 2. Rental income. Investing in rental properties is an effective way to earn passive income. But it often requires more work than people expect. If you don't take the time to learn how to make it a profitable venture, you could lose your investment and then some, says John H. Graves, an accredited investment fiduciary, AIF, in the Los Angeles area and author of The 7% Solution, you can afford a comfortable retirement. Opportunity, to earn passive income from rental properties, Graves says you must determine three things. How much return you want on the investment. The property's total costs and expenses. The financial risks of owning the property. For example, if your goal is to earn $10,000 a year in rental cash flow and the property has a monthly mortgage of $2,000 and costs another $300 a month for taxes and other expenses, you'd have to charge $3,133 in monthly rent to reach your goal. Risk. There are a few questions to consider. Is there a market for your property? What if you get a tenant who pays late or damages the property? What if you're unable to rent out your property? Any of these factors could put a big dent in your passive income and economic downturns can pose challenges, too. You may suddenly have tenants who can no longer pay their rent, while you may still have a mortgage of your own to pay. Or you may not be able to rent the home out for as much as you could before, as incomes decline. And home prices have been rising quickly due in part to relatively low mortgage rates, so your rents may not be able to cover your expenses. You'll want to weigh these risks and have contingency plans in place to protect yourself. 3. Affiliate Marketing with affiliate marketing, website owners, social media, influencers, or bloggers promote a third party's product by including a link to the product on their site or social media account. Amazon might be the best known affiliate partner, but eBay, Awin, and ShareASale are among the larger names, too. And Instagram and TikTok have become huge platforms for those looking to grow a following and promote products. You could also consider growing an email list to draw attention to your blog or otherwise direct people to products and services that they might want. Opportunity. When a visitor clicks on the link and makes a purchase from the third-party affiliate, the site owner earns a commission. The commission might range from 3 to 7%, so it will likely take significant traffic to your site to generate serious income. But if you can grow your following or have a more lucrative niche, 
such as software, financial services, or fitness, you may be able to make some serious coin. Affiliate marketing is considered passive because, in theory, you can earn money just by adding a link to your site or social media account. In reality, you won't earn anything if you can't attract readers to your site to click on the link and buy something. Risk, if you're just starting out, you'll have to take time to create content and build traffic. It can take significant time to build a following, and you'll have to find the right formula for attracting that audience, a process that itself might take a while. Worse, once you've spent all that energy, your audience may be apt to flee to the next popular influencer, trend or social media platform. 4. Sell Photography Online Selling photography online might not be the most obvious place to set up a passive business, but it could allow you to scale your efforts, especially if you can sell the same photos over and over again. To do that, you might work with an organization such as Getty Images, Shutterstock or Alami. To get started, you'll have to be approved by the platform, and then you license your photos to be used by whoever downloads them. The platform then pays you every time someone uses your photo. You'll need photos that appeal to a specific audience or that represent a certain scene, and you'll need to tease out where the demand is. Photos could be shots with models, landscapes, creative scenarios and more, or they could capture real events that might make the news. Opportunity Part of the value of selling or licensing your photos through a platform is that you have the potential to scale your efforts, especially if you can provide pictures that will be in demand. That means you could potentially sell the same image hundreds or thousands of times or more. Risk, you could add hundreds of photos to a platform such as Getty Images and not have any of them really generate meaningful sales. Only a few photos may drive all of your revenue, so you have to keep adding photos as you search for that needle in the haystack. It may require substantial effort to go out and shoot photos, then process them and keep up with the events that may ultimately drive your revenue. And motivation could be hard to maintain, every next photo might be your lottery ticket, though it almost certainly won't be. 5. Dividend Stocks Shareholders in companies with dividend-yielding stocks receive a payment at regular intervals from the company. Companies pay cash dividends on a quarterly basis out of their profits, and all you need to do is own the stock. Dividends are paid per share of stock, so the more shares you own, the higher your payout. Opportunity Since the income from the stocks isn't related to any activity other than the initial financial investment, owning dividend-yielding stocks can be one of the most passive forms of making money. The money will simply be deposited in your brokerage account. Risk The tricky part is choosing the right stocks. For example, companies issuing a very high dividend may not be able to sustain it. Graves warns that too many novices jump into the market without thoroughly investigating the company issuing the stock. You've got to investigate each company's website and be comfortable with their financial statements, Graves says. You should spend two to three weeks investigating each company. 6. Create an app. Creating an app could be a way to make that upfront investment of time and then reap the reward over the long haul. Your app might be a game or one that helps mobile users perform some hard-to-do function. Once your app is public, users download it, and you can generate income. Opportunity An app has huge upside, if you can design something that catches the fancy of your audience. You'll have to consider how best to generate sales from your app. For example, you might run in-app ads or otherwise have users pay a nominal fee for downloading the app. If your app gains popularity or you receive feedback, you'll likely need to add incremental features to keep the app relevant and popular. Risk the biggest risk here is probably that you use your time unprofitably. If you commit little or no money to the project, or money that you would have spent anyway, for example, on hardware, you have little financial downside here. However, it's a crowded market and truly successful apps must offer a compelling value or experience to users. You'll also want to make sure that if your app collects any data that it's in compliance with privacy laws, which differ across the globe. The popularity of apps can be short-lived, too, meaning your cash flow could dry up a lot faster than you expect.